Good morning, Mouseketeers. Happy, magical vlog at Christmas. Just got up a little while ago and um, uploaded a video to my channel. And now I'm making waffles this morning for the guys. So I'm just waiting for the waffle iron, um, iron skillet here to warm up. But got the mix already done. They want eggs this morning also. And then Brenton wants little um, chocolate chips in his. And then I'm just waiting on the waffle iron to warm up. So got a lot of errands to run today. So I will take you with us. I think we're going to go back to Costco's. I don't know if you... Hopefully you saw day one, but I bought some socks at Costco's that I absolutely fell in love with and they're so, so cozy and warm. Guys, they're not lotion socks, but they actually feel like they have lotion in them. I mean, they're that plush and that comfortable and it's like I don't want to take them off my feet. So we are going to go to Costco's today. And um, I want to pick up some more. And then they also had men's socks. So um, I want to show my husband in case he wants to buy um, some pairs. So we're definitely going to go there. I like to try. Hopefully I have time to make it today. But I like to try to stop off at Tiafana too. But we're headed out to the airbase to do some grocery shopping uh, to finish up everything I need on for Christmas dinner. And then just our family grocery shopping. I usually go out there once every two weeks. So I wanted to show you all something, okay? You want to see our Disney countdown calendar to see where we're at? Ta da! Look where we're at, guys. It's like, <laughs> so excited. I can't wait. Um, it's almost time to book our fast passes. So um, I'm excited about that. I will definitely upload a video after, you know, the first of the year to give y'all an update, planning update and stuff like that. Because I know some of you said that you would like to see that and you would like to see what fast passes we uh, chose. But um, so I'll do a planning update video. And I think I've already mentioned, I added another restaurant. So it's like, there's a lot of restaurants this trip, but uh, it's just something we definitely wanted um, to do. We wanted to do, you know, signature dining and, you know, I've already talked about all that, but yeah, we're like 70 days out. It's like, ah! I can't wait. I'm just excited. That's the waffle iron telling me it's ready to cook waffles. So I'm going to go take care of my family and I will check at you in a little bit. We're in the car and we are headed off to run errands. We have a lot of different little stops to make before we get out to the airbase to grocery shop. Right now we're headed over to McDonald's so my husband can get his tea and I can get a water. And I gotta stop off at the UPS store to mail a package back to Texas to my mom because- It is, it is a two thirds unsweet, one third sweet tea, which is something we're doing. Two thirds unsweet, unsweet, one third, one -third sweet. sweet. Y'all heard me talk about his tea if you watched our New York vlogs. It's the only thing I need. He loves his iced tea, I and have my caffeine that way. And I'm okay with that because there's a lot other nastier habits that other people are addicted to, and um, I'll I'll go with the tea. I'm addicted to water, so you know. Yeah, you got tea too. Oh, I drink my hot tea, guys. I do. And I want to be able to stop off at Tea Havana to pick up some. So if I pick up some, I'll let you know. My tea's cheaper. Yes, his tea is cheaper. There's my husband. He's driving. So, yeah, his tea is definitely a lot cheaper than mine. But mine's better. Oh, no, sure, it's fine. Mine is better. And I have more tea options. He only has one option. I like that option. Brewed tea. Whereas I get multiples, huh? I don't like all the flavor stuff. He doesn't like all the flavor I do like that Oprah chime, but I don't like Oprah, so I won't be having that. But yeah, he's not a big fan of her, so. But that's but just my opinion, not that's, that of anybody else's. That's his. I used to watch her talk show a long time ago, but, you know. Anyway, it's raining here, guys. It is 50. <laughs> Snow, outside snow this morning i mean look i'm gonna show you outside all the snow has practically melted because it's 50 outside 
which is crazy that's actually considered warm seeing how the last couple of days the kids have had delay starts for school because it's like been in the negatives and they have to you know kind of let the weather warm up before they allow them to go out to the bus you know stops you know I know that sounds weird you know but some kids you know live off of farm roads and country roads and rural areas and um what the wind chill it's it's yeah it's like the wind chill and stuff and it's just not safe for you know like little kindergartners to be out there in that cold um they could easily get frostbite and stuff so All the little people but it's so crazy that it's 50 today and it's start going down now now it's like yes the weatherman's like hey then it's gonna start you know tomorrow's supposed to be like five so tomorrow night it's tomorrow night five. but we had the fireplace on to warm up the house and before we left we turned it off just because it's 50 today and I'm surprised um, people aren't gonna get sick because the other day it was one degrees and today it's like 50 so and guys in case you're wondering I put on that puff collection eyeshadow again on my eyes and I'm gonna see how it does all day today last night it held up great and I do have the um, ombre NYX duo on that I was telling y'all about that I purchased so I don't know if y'all can tell but it is on my lips I'll show you outside real quick so you can see how all the snow has melted but as you can see it all melted this morning when it warmed up so there's like little patches here and there, but for the most part, it's melted, which right is kind of good. Right. Yeah, there's a little bit there. But that's kind of good because um, that way we can have fresh snow. Because I don't like it when the cars get on the road and the snow starts turning black because of all the, what is it? Because of all the dirt. Dirt, but dirt the grease. exhaust. Dirt from, the exhaust, exhaust from cars. Because then the snow turns black and it's just like, oh. It's like nasty after that. So, yeah, yep, we're gonna head and run some errands and we're gonna stop off at Costco's too. So, I'll catch at you later. Okay, Mouseketeer. So, my husband is in uh, McDonald's getting a tea and a water. I wanted to ask your thoughts on something. We were just having this discussion, but for next year, for Christmas, we are thinking about getting a new Christmas tree. Um, the current Christmas tree that I've had, that I have, is a 10 foot Christmas tree. We're thinking about going to a 12 foot Christmas tree. And I've had this tree since 2007. So it's starting to really take a toll and we just feel like we're due for a new tree. And I was thinking, and my husband's all for it, but I also just want it other people's opinions too and after I tell you my idea please give me your thoughts share your thoughts with me down below but I have my tree downstairs in the basement okay and when I do my house tour you'll see what I'm talking about and down in the basement I have like a planter with blue lights in it and I remember when you didn't have pre-lit Christmas trees and my husband and I just had a regular tree in our first house and it was a seven and a half foot tree and it was not pre-lit so we had to put the lights on it not a problem but what was nice about it is I could put white lights one year and I could put blue lights one year I could put multicolored lights one year I could always switch out the look of the lights each year if I wanted to and I cannot do that with a pre-lit Christmas tree and when I was downstairs in the basement the other day and I plugged in the blue lights in the little planter, I was like, man, that really looks good. I really miss blue lights because one year I did a blue Christmas tree for my husband because blue is his favorite color. And I think it was like our fourth or fifth year of marriage. I did a whole tree in blue for him and I saved the lights and I forgot how beautiful the blue lights looked until I plugged them into this planter. And so here's like what I'm thinking, I'm thinking about buying just a 12 foot Christmas tree, not pre-lit, so we could change up the color of the lights each year if we wanted to. Give me your thoughts on that. Let me know what you think. If you do that, you know, let me know too, because any opinion about that would just, you know, be, you know, encouraging to try to make a decision as to what we want to do. So, yeah. 
But um, yeah, share your thoughts. We're headed home, guys. It's been a long day. It's going on 4.30. And as they were loading the groceries, I told my husband we should have brought my vehicle because we barely got the groceries in his vehicle. And I probably will not vlog unloading the groceries for y'all and doing a haul on that because that would be too long of a video, yes? It would be just crazy. But I'll show you what we got at Costco's and what I got at uh, Tiavana and what I got at the oilery. So, but the weather is really nasty here. Here, I'll turn around the camera so you can see. Look how nasty that is in front of us. But we're getting ready to leave the air base now and head home. And that's like all the groceries back there. I don't know if y'all can see all that. It's a small car. It is, we're dropping, my husband has a Kia, so. And then I have the gas guzzler, as we like to call it, which is fine by me. Yes. Oh yeah, it's plenty of room. Yeah, <laughs> we get a plenty of room in that one, but. Um, we figured we'd just take his just because I didn't want to get mine out of the garage with this weather and it's just, a mess. it's just a mess today outside, but we're headed home. The kids are waiting for us and they're usually our helpers as far as unloading the groceries and getting them in the house and uh, my husband puts the groceries that go in the basement because we have a basement pantry area down in the basement and then I take care of the groceries that go upstairs. So we're going to unload that and then I'm going to start some dinner. So I'll check back with you in a little bit. So guys, we just got home. We got all the groceries put away and I'll just show you really quick what we picked up at Costco's. And of course I stopped off at Tiavana and oh my hair's a mess. And I stopped off at the oilery. So at Costco's, let me turn the camera this way, we just put our stuff in a bag when we got in the car because they don't supply bags at Costco's. My husband picked up some socks and I thought these were pretty great because especially if you shop at Costco's, you might be interested. So these are like waterproof socks, wool blend, and they offer like um, Achille, you know, cushion and arch support for your feet and they just also seem really nice and comfortable and soft as well. So, cause he has problems with his feet from wearing combat boots during um, his military career. So that would be good if they could offer like arch support and stuff. So here, I got another pair of these cozy socks. Guys, I just love these, they're awesome. So this time I got the blue and the white and um, the gray. So um, I just think they're really comfortable. So um, like I said before, I'm definitely making a pair of these part of the giveaway, um, meaning a three pack. So hopefully you saw that in vlog day one. Then of course I stopped off at the oilery and I just picked up some um, Italian season blends. I use this a lot for cooking, guys. So you get like a Parmesan blend, you get a Tuscany blend, then you get a Sicilian blend, and then you get a rosemary blend. And guys, I also buy oil from them as well in a balsamic vinegar too and a lot of times I will make that oil, um, olive oil and I'll throw these blends in there for dipping with um, French bread and stuff. I don't know that's just the Italian in me but I picked these up and I use it a lot for um, cooking. Also picked up this as well from Costco. Um, love this. We snack on these all the time in um, our house. My Not my husband but the kids and I do because my husband's not a big huge pretzel fan. But these are peanut butter filled and I'll eat these like before I go and work out and it's a really big container. And then of course I stopped off at Tia Vana and I picked up some more. Guess what I picked up? Let me get it out. Ta-da! Look what I picked up. More white chocolate peppermint blend tea. I was already starting to run out and guys, I think I've spoiled myself with that tea because I just drink it almost every night and it's like for two ounces, it's like $9 and change. So it is definitely a pricey tea. Oh, my hair, look at it. It's just a mess. It won't go down. Look at that right there. See that? It's annoying me. 
But um, it's a pricey tea, but oh my goodness, guys, it is exceptionally delicious. So I'm going to go cook for the family really quick. And then I also got something in the mail today from QVC, and it's part of their holiday gourmet um, season. So it's a food item. And Mrs. Pringable's apples are on their way, but today I got something that I'm excited to open. So I'll share that with y'all after I feed the troops. So guys, if you're curious to know what we're having for dinner tonight, I am making sloppy joes and I am making potato casserole. So right now I'm cooking up the potatoes, as you can see. And I use barbecue sauce for our sloppy joes. I don't use like manwich that comes in the can. I just use a little bit of barbecue sauce in it. We prefer that over like manwich. But for the potato casserole, after I get done cooking it on the stove, I put it in a casserole dish. I just get the hash browns, diced up hash browns. I also get the ones that have like the little green peppers and onions in it sometimes. But I just throw some sour cream in it with um, cheese. I'm running out of this one, so I'm gonna then add this blend. And I just mix that all up and then I bake it in the oven and it just makes this really good cheesy like potato casserole. But um, Zachary's going to have soup tonight because his stomach's kind of bothering him. So he's just going to have tomato soup and then I'm in the mood for some vegetable soup. So I think I'm going to have some veggie soup tonight. But And then I'm going to cook up some vegetables in the microwave to go with um, dinner. So um, yeah. That is the main course, but like I said, Zach's going to have soup, and I'm going to have soup. So I just thought I'd share with you what we're having. Guys, if y'all are interested on how I did the potatoes, after I cooked them, I went on ahead and put them in a casserole dish, and then I took the sour cream, and I spread the sour cream on top, kind of like you would just, you know, white icing, and then I just took cheese and sprinkled it. And if you wanted to add... Um, what is it chives and bacon you could do that and then what you would kind of have is like a loaded baked potato casserole so that's really good too but I just bake this in the oven at 375 until it's all warmed and the cheese is all bubbly and melted and guys it is good so guys I finished up dinner and um, the guys are downstairs playing risk again I think they're getting addicted to the game but I am going to open up that QVC package with y'all in a minute, but I'm making some brownies real quick. And I wanted to just um, show you how I kind of make a low calorie, low fat brownie because I omit the oil. A couple of, I think it was like maybe about a week ago on Instagram and on my Life in Disney Facebook page, I posted a picture of... Um, this brownie box with a cut up brownie and Mott's applesauce. And I talked about how I substituted um, applesauce for the oil. And maybe you've heard of this. If not, you know, then this is probably new to you. And um, one of my, you know, Life and Disney Facebook followers asked, you know, well, how much applesauce did I use? And you know what type of applesauce and um i thought that i would just go on ahead and just show y'all real quick what i did to create these amazing brownies i mean guys omitting the oil i'm gonna be perfectly honest with you you cannot tell okay you just can't tell on the first day when when the brownies get out of the oven they're moist and a little cakey the second day, the day after you make them, they get moist and a little more dense and they're like really good. And then like the third day, oh my magical word, they are delicious. They're super, super moist and really dense. So I mean, they are delicious. They did not last in our home past the third day. I don't tell my boys when I throw applesauce in something, they just eat it and then they're like, man, that was delicious mom. And I'm like, guess what? I put applesauce in it and guys if you're going to do this meaning anytime you're going to substitute applesauce in the place of oil you want to use especially in your baked goods you want to use an unsweetened okay because you don't want to use a sweetened applesauce because then it's like you're going to double sweeten the recipe and you don't want to do that so i just use mott's you know applesauce uh, granny smith um all natural unsweetened 
applesauce. Now here's the thing, you wanna make sure, of course guys, that it says no sugar added when you buy it. Like I said, you don't wanna add more sweet on the already existing sweets, whether you're doing a cakes or brownies. Now, if you're somebody who doesn't like the tartness of a Granny Smith, first of all, I'm gonna say that you don't taste the tartness. But if you're sensitive to tartness and you feel, no, I probably would, then you wanna add maybe about one fourth of a teaspoon one fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda to your recipe. It'll help, you know, with that sensitivity to tartness. So, how do you substitute the applesauce for the oil? Follow the, the sorry, follow the directions on the box. So for this recipe, it calls for one fourth cup of water and one egg and then it says a half a cup of vegetable shortening. Guys, you're going to use a half a cup of applesauce, okay? So it doesn't have to be the ones that come in this, okay? You can get the big jar, you can get the, um, like the little cup servers, you can do that too. And you just squirt out as much applesauce as you can get. Usually if you're going to do the squirt ones like this, it takes two because I can't always get all of it out and what I do when I can't, when I'm done with it, I just I use the rest like that. <laughs> then I just open up the next one, squirt it out. I'm just squirting it into my measuring cup and kind of flatten it out. And then I have a little bit left over in here. Mmm, I love applesauce. Anyway, right there, I have my half a cup and I just pour it into my recipe. Let me show you how it looks. Bring the camera down for y'all. So right there, guys, okay? I just poured it in there. I already have the water, I already have the egg, and I already have the brownie mixture and the applesauce. And all I'm gonna do, guys, is take my wire risk, whoa, risk, whisk hello and I'm just gonna mix it up and then I'm gonna put it in my 8 by 8 metal baking pan I believe you bake it at 325 yes and I don't bake it as long well I kind of take because it's applesauce and it's not oil I think it says for an 8 by 8 it says bake 45 to 50 minutes okay on this particular brand. I bake it more to like the 45 minute. Um, I don't bake it all the way out to the 50 just because I'm dealing with applesauce and not oil. But I just go ahead and mix this up. And then guys, I put it in my pan, which I already have sprayed. And then I just bake it at 325 for 45 minutes. And then I have these amazing, delicious, low fat, low calorie brownies, and nobody can tell the difference in our house. So I'm also making these for Christmas day, and um, I'll be serving them using the applesauce. So, and they're good. So let's move on to the QVC, and I'll show you what I got from Holiday Gourmet. Okay guys, we are going to open up this QVC Gourmet holiday package that came. So I ordered two holiday gourmet things. I ordered Mrs. Pringable's apples. I order Mrs. Pringable's apples every year. And last year I actually did an unboxing for that on my channel. But this year I tried, Mrs. Pringable's is coming or being shipped out on December 19th. So I'll get that the week of the 19th. But um, this time I also ordered uh, chocolate dipped pretzels. I saw them last year, these beautiful like big gourmet uh, pretzels and they looked divine and I was gonna order them but I was like no. Well I saw them again this year and I'm like I'm going to order those. So that's what came in the mail today. 
And I almost ordered the Harry and David's um, pop gourmet popcorn because guys, I like popcorn drizzled with caramel and chocolate and then nuts infused. And I like, you know, like my favorite one is Funky Monkey. That is delicious because you get big clusters of popcorn and caramel and chocolate and nuts. And I like sweet and salty. So um, this year and last year I had saw Harry David's through QVC Holiday Gourmet, and I was so close to buying it this year. But when I went to the store, Harry and David is out around the stores right now because of the holidays. And usually I can find Funky Monkey, but this year I cannot find it. And I'm getting annoyed because it's my favorite brand. But I tried the Harry and David Moose Tracks, and I did not like it. So I'm kind of glad I did not purchase it off of QVC. But guys, if you watched my October favorites, then you know that I mentioned QVC is my favorite show to watch during the holidays, especially the ho holiday gourmet section of the, of the series. And of course, always David in the kitchen. But here is my QVC box that came in the mail. And we are gonna open these and I'll let you look. And like I said, this is my first time getting these. I've, I've never tried these before. So, and I got the um, cookie jar pick. Like it's, it's meaning it's every, it's like, it's like cookie jar flavors. So this is just my QVC receipt and it's Landy's candies. It's all in our chocolate. And there's the box right there and it is taped oh my goodness it is really coming down outside I don't know if you can hear it hitting my roof but it is pouring Let's see oh, oh my goodness they look so divine so it came like this guys so they all came like this okay now I feel like I'm doing a QVC commercial of course they they're not sponsoring this or they don't even know i'm doing this but it's landy's candies cookie jar pretzel collection and right there it gives you all the ingredients and the nutritional facts which i really like so oh my goodness they have caramel coconut cookie pretzel then they have caramel shortbread cookie pretzel and both of those are filled with caramel then they have the chocolate chip cookie pretzel with cookie buttered filling. Then they have the cookies and cream pretzel with white truffle filling. Oh my magical word. They have the mint cookie pretzel with dark peppermint truffle filling. And then they have my favorite that I saw on TV within the kitchen with David. They had peanut butter cookie pretzel with peanut butter filling. Oh, my magical word. And guys, some of these are only 170 calories with five grams of fat, which is awesome. And that's the caramel coconut cookie pretzel. So let me see if I can try and grab the right ones for y'all. So peanut butter, I'm trying to see how they have it laid out. This looks like the caramel shortbread because of all the stripes on it. So that one is the caramel shortbread cookie pretzel. And there's the back of it. I don't know if y'all have ever seen this on Holiday Gourmet. Then this one, oh, this one is definitely the peanut butter cookie pretzel, which is right here. Okay. And there's the back of that one. Oh my goodness, look at that peanut butter right there. <laughs> okay, this one is definitely the chocolate chip because it's got chocolate chips on it. That's the chocolate chip cookie pretzel right there. And this one with all the little drizzles. I don't know. Oh, this one's the cookies and cream. That's obvious because it's got the little Oreo cookies on top. And there's the back of that one. This one with all the little, I don't know. I can't smell that one. And then I'm thinking this one, I got two left. Chocolate chip, mint, and I did the peanut butter. I don't know if that one, okay guys, I messed up. 
Now that's the peanut butter. This one is the mint cookie pretzel with dark peppermint. It's hard to smell through the bag. But there's that one. And then the last one is the caramel coconut cookie pretzel, which is right there. Okay, and you get a total of 18 in here, which is pretty good if you ask me. Um, I'm looking forward to trying these. I'm actually going to be sitting them out on Christmas Day. I'm going to make like a little basket and put some tissue paper in it and kind of just... Um, have these sitting out for people that want to give them a try or even take one home um, as they head out the door as just a little parting gift, you know. But I'm looking forward to serving these up. I might actually take a couple of the peanut butter ones and put them off to the side. But like I said, they came packaged like this. You get two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16. Yep, 18 are in there, guys. So there it is, and it was beautifully packaged, and I am looking forward to trying those out this holiday season. And as soon as Mr. Mrs. Pringables comes in, I'll make sure to upload a video vlog on that because we love Mrs. Pringables in our house. Guys, I hope you loved today's vlog. I loved spending some time with y'all today. It was fun just, you know, vlogging for y'all. I'm kind of, you know, like I said, digging this vlogging stuff, so. But um, thanks for stopping by at Life in Disney today, guys, and sharing a little bit of your time with me. If you're not already a Life in Disney Mouseketeer, you're always welcome to subscribe to my channel and come back each week and share a little time with me. So till next time, guys, y'all have a magical day and a magical week, and I will see y'all later. Bye, guys.